one more video today, I promise. Just a quick message I had, and I just got remember. I remembered it real quick. Um, thinking about how, um, how, how I'm trying to put this in a better context, but how you have to be willing, you know, especially if you're trying to follow your passion and follow your your calling, you have to be willing to be seen as different, you know, following different paths. Um, I know if anybody that's out there is watching as young, you're going to want to follow your friends and hopefully be together and have the same likes and the same careers and the same passions. But then as I got older, you know, you start realizing that everybody's different, right? We all have a different um, way of thinking, different ways of, you know, of being alive. Everybody has their own thing that they do that makes them alive and makes them feel their purpose while they're here in this world. And, and then the more you start heading towards that way, the less people you find because you're actually following your path and then you're creating your own path. A path that's not there before for anybody else or nobody's there for, you know, like nobody's gotten there. Sometimes there might be people when you get to that path, but you won't know until you actually get to that side of the path. So it does get lonely. But at the same time, I think it is when you actually learn about yourself the most. You find out what you like, what you don't what you you're good at what you're not how you can improve you know how you can work on yourself and this is how this is when you find who you are and you carve and you mold yourself kind of right of what your potential is of how much talent you have someone you didn't even know you probably had so it, it's something like it's like a double they call it the double edged sword so it's, you know you're just gonna be for at first it's gonna be a very lonely path it's gonna be odd you're gonna be the oddball because everybody's doing what everybody thinks is comfortable what is the norm the norm or the known so whenever you're following a different path or something that doesn't hasn't been made but you feel like you want to keep on per you know pursuing it and you feel like this is what you want to do people are gonna look at you like hey this guy's crazy or you know. It's just in a way until you basically fail, right? You know, but like, oh, I told you so, right? But having the courage and having the ability and the awareness to understand that it's okay because we all have different paths and different ways of thinking and different likes. Being okay with that, accepting where you're at, knowing that right now where I'm at, it is where I'm supposed to be, which is a powerful statement. And being okay with being odd, you know? I know for me, for me it's tough. You know, some people ask me, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's tough for me to explain it because I cannot be explained. Because it's like me, I was into Kyle Cease today, and I love Kyle Cease. I think you guys should, if you guys look him up, he's awesome. He's like, it's like you're, you're in the fifth grade and trying to explain fifth grade homework to a third grader. You know, it's very powerful. Like, you know, it's just only you can understand it because this is the path that you're on. And I want everybody to understand that it's okay. You know, we don't, it's, it, the less you can explain it, that means the more you got to keep on doing it. So my model now is, if I can't explain it, I'm going to attack it. If I can't explain it, then it's probably not going to be very uh, fulfilling to me. So instead of asking the question, you know, or, or looking at things, how can I explain them or things that are the norm or things that are, um, how can I say it? Like, you know, things that are, 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 are natural. Everybody says, oh, this is natural. But the unnatural, the unknown, is where you want to follow, where you want to take. Um, you know, stop going with the norm and think of what you want. What is your norm? Because maybe your norm, normal, might not be society's norm. So, doesn't mean that you're wrong. You know, that, so I want you to understand as well. Doesn't mean you're wrong. Doesn't mean that you're delusional. It just means that you're following your path, your calling your heart and that's what's changed for me in the last couple of months i've been following more of what i feel like i want to do and i've been doing it and and it's scary and it's unknown and i don't know what's going to happen i don't know what outcome but i know that i love it i feel excited i get passionate about it and it's expanding me to a person that i never knew even existed and i never knew this side of myself i never knew i had this inside of myself so until you get to that level and you're pushed to expand, you will never know how powerful you are. So, you know, instead of asking yourself, what's the next um, uh, normal step? You know, or what's, what, what's everybody doing? Or, you know, just ask yourself, sit down with yourself and follow your heart. Forget about everybody else. Everybody is meant for something else. 
everybody has their own power, their own calling, and we're all important, we're all special. Nobody is more special than you, and you're not more special than anybody else. We are all equal in the eyes of the source. Be yourself and be powerful. I hope you guys are inspired by this. See you guys later.